So take your water bottle, take off the lid, and then use your scissors to cut in to the side of the water bottle. Make sure you don't go far down here because this is your, your flower. So you want to kind of stay up in this area. Just create a hole. And once I've created a hole, I'm going to cut just along this, this edge here all the way around. Basically, I, I cut this off because I didn't want the ridges in the flower. So this is our going to be our flower. And so what you want to do is just color this with your Sharpie. I'm going to go with the pink color. So I have colored all the way around on the outside and now we're just going to cut our petals. I'm going to start by cutting down one of the lines here. So I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to stop around here. So I cut there right here and now I'm going to go on the opposite side so now there's a cut here and here and then I'll go these two opposite sides and now I've got these four different petals and I'm just going to cut, starting from this petal, I'm going to just cut the edges a little bit. See, so I've given it this petal shape here. And then I'm going to do that with the other petals as well. And just do that to all four. So we've got these petals here and now I'm going to just trim the edge and just make it not straight so just moving my my scissors just a little bit back and forth like this I'm making the edges not straight going in and just filling any little small spots I may have missed just to cover the petal completely make sure also to um, color in this area so we've got our petals here we're gonna set this aside for now and we're going to use the rest of this bottle to create the middle of the flower. So I'm just going to cut a portion of this out. I'm going to cut all the way down here. And basically I'm cutting 
piece of this plastic bottle out. So then you want to take another different color and just color that in. And you only need to color one side. You don't need to color both sides. So we're almost done here and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is going on the inside anyways. So once you have that colored, what you want to do is you want to cut diagonally this way, but make sure you don't cut all the way. You have to stop like right there. And so just cut little strips. all the way down, um, no, but making sure to stop right and leaving almost like maybe half an inch, but all the way down this way. Got that. Now let's set that aside and we're going to grab our cap and we're gonna color that in green. Now for the stem, you can use a straw or chopstick or like a wooden dowel, whatever you can find around the house. This straw looks like it's red and white, so I'm probably not going to use this. Um, if you have a clear straw, that's kind of ideal. I mean, if you could find a green straw, that's even better, but I don't think I've ever seen any green straws. In this case, I'm just going to use these chopsticks. And of course, I've never been great at breaking them, but what we're gonna do here is we're probably, I'm gonna paint, you can either use the green, let's see what it looks like, um, or you can paint it. And that looks pretty good. So you can just color this whole thing in, or if you have green paint, you can use green paint. Now for the stem, you can use a straw or chopstick or like a wooden dowel, whatever you can find around the house. This straw looks like it's red and white, so I'm probably not going to use this. Um, if you have a clear straw, that's kind of ideal. I mean, if you could find a green straw, that's even better, but I don't think I've ever seen any green straws. In this case, I'm just going to use these chopsticks. And of course, I've never been great at breaking them, but what we're going to do here is we're probably, I'm going to paint, you can either use the green, let's see what it looks like, um, or you can paint it. And that looks pretty good. So you can just color this whole thing in, or if you have green paint, you can use green paint. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take that green cap and you can either use your scissors and create a hole. I have this nail and I'm just going to puncture right in the middle. Oh, didn't make it right through the middle, but that's okay. Um, and then I can even use my scissors to kind of just make this a little bit bigger, make sure my, my stem is going to fit. So I've got a decent hole here. Let's see if that fits. And it does. And it stays pretty well. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of just bend it all different ways. Bend some this way, bend some that way. We don't want it to look perfect. Just like crunch it down a little bit. 
And then we're going to roll this all the way in. Like that. So it's rolled up. And we're going to put this right in the middle. And of course it's too small right now. It's going to open up a little bit. But what you can do is add and make this bigger if you want. But um, if you take your cap and just twist it on like this. And of course I can't twist it on now. Doesn't want to twist on. There we go. So we've twisted that on and you can clean up this part with the green. So I feel like this is going to work. I just need to glue this down. So if you have a hot glue gun, um, that's great. You can use that. I'm going to just try to use regular glue. I, it just takes longer to dry. So I put some glue in there. And now I'm going to just push this down. And I'm just going to let that dry for a while and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done.